hi everyone this is professor satishwali so we are continuing the last part of uh, fifth model uh, uh, the topic is on uh, distribution of uh, sorry uh, distributary uh, distribution reservoirs and here we are taking up the problems now previous part you have seen the theory part type of distributed reservoirs and what are the distributed reservoirs why they are used okay and different types of layouts you have seen those things now we are going to see the problem part okay so we are going to take up the two problems over here so this is the first example so what he has says uh, this problem is taken from skaker book okay from the uh, skaker book volume 1 okay so page number 535 I can refer that part so what the problem states so here a town with a population of 1 million has a continuous water supply average supply is 270 LPCD the water being supplied by direct pumping so here the direct pumping is being used the total water supply of 270 LPCD is phased as following okay because due to that variation in demand so morning 5 a.m. to 11 a.m. it is around 90 LPC and from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. it is around 54 LPC and from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. it is 81 LPC and 9 p.m. to 12 midnight that is 27 LPC and 12 to morning 5 a.m. it is 18 LPC. Okay. Next part, the water is supplied from the treatment plant at an uniform rate of 11.25 million liters per hour for all 24 hours. Okay. So what we need to do here is to find out the capacity of the reservoir required to uh, required for distribution of water assuming no loss or withdrawn from the trunk main okay so this is our question you need to find out what the capacity of the uh, you can say what is the capacity of distribution reservoir itself okay now what you need to do is you need to first find out the total water supply so how are you going to find out the total water supply so total water supply is nothing but a rate of supply into population so 270 what is the rate of that supply it is so 1 million population okay so you have got around 270 million liters okay so this is the total what daily water supply now you need to put a tabular column over here when you put a tabular column the first part will be with the time period itself so which has been mentioned in the question over here this part okay so that you are putting up here second part the daily uh, per capita consumption in lpc so that is also being given in the question itself the third column it is nothing but the consumption of million liters of water or 1 million population so what is nothing but 1 into this one you are going to do because it is 1 the answer will be same over here but it will be, it will be in terms of million liters okay so next what you are going to do here is you need to have an cumulative demand okay so cumulative water demand with respect to that time duration so first one is 90 okay from 5 a.m. to 11 a.m. So second one is 90 plus 54 that is 144 okay so the time here is in between 11, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. then 144 plus 81 so time here is 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. so that is 2 to 5 so 2 to 5 plus 27 so that's the time duration is in between 9 p.m. to 12 midnight next that the value is 252 so 252 plus 18 so that's the time here is from from midnight to morning 5 a.m so that is 270 
this answer both tend to get matched. So what you have to do? You need to plot a graph with time versus cumulative flow. So this the graph has been plotted with the time versus cumulative flow. Then what you need to do is you need to plot a graph versus the first column versus the fourth one. Okay, so 90. For 11 a.m. you put a uh, you have recognized where that 90 lays over here. Okay, so scan for 3 p.m. So 3 p.m. it is 144. So 144 lies between 140 and 160. So they have dotted out here. Next 252 for 9 p.m. So again they have marked the 252. Next 270. So 270 has been marked over here. Okay. So in this way what they have done, they have plotted a graph over here. Next what you need to do. Okay. So next half of what they say is here is the water supply for the water works is to be obtained at a rate of 11.25 million liters per hour. So why it is? Because it is an uniform treatment. Okay. So water is being supplied at uh, this rate at a uh, this rate itself okay it's a uniform rate okay so that one happens over here then what you need to do is you need to draw a straight line okay you can see here we need to draw a straight line with a slope of 11.25 million liters so what they have done they have drawn a slope of 11.25 million liters okay from 0 to the last one itself okay then where there is a maximum ordinate okay so in between here wherever you have a maximum ordinate that you need to mark it okay so you can say in other words what you can say is that you need to read it okay you need to take two ordinates so here it is the first ordinate becomes zero because the maximum here is only one point there is no second another ordinate so first a point is zero but in b point it shows us around how much you need to count this ordinate so this ordinate say uh, in 200 to uh, 180 it is 20 so from 180 to 60 it is another 20 okay oh no no ah, okay so 220 to 200 it is 20 so 200 to 1 it is 20 so when you plot it correctly in graph it is around 41 okay so that is nothing but 41 million liters so when we add a and b it gives us in for a is 0 okay and b is 41 million liters so total storage requirement here is 41 million liters okay so in this way you need to find out the calculation okay so now we'll go for a second problem itself so same way we need to find out an capacity so what the second problem states for the water supply for a small rural town with the daily requirement of 2 like 25000 liters it is proposed to to constant <coughs> To, uh, to construct a, a distribution reservoirs, the pattern of drawing here is okay. So you got to see the pattern of drawing. So here he has given in terms of percentage. So from from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. it is 30 percent. From 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. it is 35 percent. So from 5 p.m. to 6:30 p.m. it is 30 percent. From 6:30 p.m. to 7 p.m. it is 5 percent. Okay. So this is an pattern again what he says the pump will pump it at a constant rate for only for 8 hours that is from morning 8 am to 4 pm okay so it, it the pumps you pumps are pumping for only for an 8 hour duration period that too from 8 am to 9 pm determine the storage capacity of reservoir so you need to find a storage capacity of reservoir okay so first what we will see is we are going to see the daily requirement so daily requirement is how much it is 2 like 25 thousand liters so that is nothing but has written 225 into 10 to 3 over here 
now you need to plot in uh, table as we have done previously this is period that's a time that's in daily oh sorry rate of demand here itself so rate of demand in terms of liters they have converted it over here okay so 30 percent of okay so what i can see here is so when you multiply with uh, 225 to 10 to 3 uh, sorry you, when you when you have it uh, uh, 225 to 10 to 3 35 percent of that you'll have a 67 67.5 okay so 35 percent you will have 78.5 so 30 percent again have your uh, 37 oh, sorry 67.5 so 5 percent it is 11.25 okay so we'll have a cumulative over here so 67.5 plus 78.75 it is for 146.25 so 146 point uh, 146.25 plus 67.5 it is 213.74 so 213.74 plus 11.25 it is 20 uh, okay so this we have a cumulative with respect to this time duration itself so now an hourly uh, with the eight hour so you convert it into uh, uh this uh, flow what we have done is uh, how much it will be for in hourly duration if the pump is pumping at in uh, uh, for only a for eight hour duration time so how much will be in uh, liters per hour that you have converted here okay so then what you have done is for this value okay so for this value what we have done is we have drawn a slope a straight line okay of current slope of 2 to uh, sorry 28.25 okay for this value for this one we have drawn a slope and maximum coordinates we have got at two points one is at point a one is at point b so point a it will be around 8 uh, 88 into 10 raised to 3 and point b will have uh, sorry this is point b so b will have around 67.5 okay so 1 2 3 so each have in 20 so that is 60 so here will be having uh, 7.5 okay so same way here itself so when you add a and b you will have a total capacity of that reservoir okay so you will have a total capacity of that reservoirs okay so this one is been drawn in an total okay so these are the problems on distributory reservoirs okay if you don't understand if you if you have any queries you can contact me so thank you thank you very much be safe stay home